Hello, welcome to Your Simple Golf Swing. I'm Matt. In this video, I'm going to talk about resistance for distance. So what do I mean by that? I know a lot of you have heard that you want to keep everything nice and loose in the golf swing. You don't want any tension. Well, that's true to a point. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the proper place to put resistance in your golf swing to help you blast the longest drives of your life. Before I get started, I want to welcome all of the new viewers. Please take some time, go through my videos. You'll see that I've got all kinds of tips on how to learn the Mike Austin, Mike Dunaway swing. I call my teaching method the Your Simple Golf Swing Method. If you would like to learn the swing a lot quicker, please go down in the description, click on the link to sign up for my online course and get started today. Okay, so let's talk about resistance for distance. Like I said in the intro, we've all been taught that you want to be nice and loose, you know, to start your swing. And that's true. You want, you don't want any tension in your body. Tension will cause you to slow down to a point. There is a proper point in your swing where you do want tension. Mike Oss, or Mike Dunaway, what he talked about is he talked about swinging back or swinging up into tension and then swinging out of tension. Well, what was he talking about? Well, he's talking about supple quickness and how he managed to get supple quickness, which caused him to have incredible club head speed and caused him to be able to hit that ball solid and long every single time. So I want you to do a little test here. I've shown this in some other videos. I wanna show you something uh, a little bit simple here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna let our, our one, either one of your arms hang down nice and loose and relax. Now I want you to bend that wrist to get your hand, get, get this in, in a real tense position here. And then I want you to just relax. And you'll see how fast that just snaps back into position. It goes from a point of tension and then it drops to what we call a state of rest. Well, that's what we want to have happen in our golf swing. We wanna start off in a state of rest but then what we want to do is we want to allow our body to build up tension in the top of the backswing and then go into a state of rest at the bottom and that'll cause us to whip through the ball. Now one of the things that I see a lot of people do wrong is they take that concept of wanting to stay loose throughout their whole swing and they let that looseness kind of remain throughout their whole body during their entire swing. Well, if you do that, you're not gonna be able to create this tension at the top. Where do we want this tension to be? Surprisingly enough, we want some tension in our lower body as well as in our upper body and our, our wrist. And let me explain that. One of the biggest problems I see with golfers that send me videos and golfers that I've worked with is they allow too much looseness in their lower body, believe it or not. Now, what does that mean? We know in our swing that we want to straighten this right leg while we bend this left leg. And then we want to turn our body and turn our hip around the gate post. And that causes tension. We want some tension on the inside of this thigh. The reason being is I see so many golfers, what they'll do is they will start to bend this right leg, but then at some point they stop and they let their hip turn way around behind them. They get real loose and what that actually causes is kind of a reverse pivot, okay? They don't actually get their leg over the right, or their weight over the right side. They keep it on their left side. And then they have trouble doing that move that I talk about in another video, the power move with firing that right hip. They have trouble firing that right hip. It's because they have this hip and this leg out of position because they've allowed it to stay too relaxed and they get back like this. And then when they start their swing, they start with their shoulders and they lose a lot of power that way. And their hips actually come through late. What we want to do is we want a little tension on the inside of this leg so that when we straighten this and we start this turn around with this hip, we're not allowing our, our right hip to turn around behind us. We want this hip to stop right here and let this hip come around. That's one point of tension and you're gonna feel it in this leg because we're gonna get the weight over here, but we're not gonna allow it to keep turning. We're gonna allow this part to come around and we keep this hip from going backwards. That's one point of tension we want. 
Why is that important? Because from this position, we're gonna be able to fire that hip, start our swing with that hip turn rather than a shoulder turn. The next point of, of tension that we want, if you're a regular follower of my channel, you know that we break our wrist. We break our wrist this way, not this way. We break it this way to a 45 degree angle. You'll feel a little tension here and here. And as you take it back up to the top, you're gonna to feel tension through here. That's a good tension because what's gonna happen is when we fire that hip, that tension is gonna automatically release itself. Remember, we teach an easier or an early release where we're releasing the club from the top. And a lot of people say, oh, well, that'll ruin your lag. It won't ruin your lag. I'm gonna do another video on lag um, that I'll be releasing soon that you can watch. Just trust me on this for now. But what's gonna happen is as you fire that hip, it's gonna yank your entire body, it's gonna yank your left arm, it's gonna cause these wrists to start moving towards a position of rest, and it's gonna cause tremendous velocity through the ball, okay? What we're doing, we're causing that tension. It's very important that you remember this part. Make the, straighten this right leg, but make it become a solid post like it's cemented into the ground and it's not moving. Do not allow this post to bend around like that. If you do that, you're gonna lose all your power and you're gonna lose your ability because you see this, this hip, because this leg is angled now, is not higher than this one and you can't fire it down. You're not gonna be able to start the swing with your right hip. So it's very important that you have tension in this leg and you stop that post from moving back, you turn around and then you fire with the hips. Use the hip first. Here, I'm gonna demonstrate here. Watch, you're gonna see that my, I'm not gonna turn like that. I'm gonna turn like this, where I, I, I incorporate that tension in that leg. Get a nice, high, solid ball flight, a lot of velocity going through the club. I hope this helped you out. Remember, if you want to learn the entire swing beginning to end, uh, just please go down in the description, click on the link to sign up for my course, get started today. Thanks for watching.